What's going on, guys? Hope you guys are all having a great weekend so far. Uh, today I was just looking to do a quick recap on the uh, past week of trading there and give you guys an idea of uh, how my brain worked and how I managed to lock in uh, just shy of 14k. Uh, let's get into it. So jumping into the account there, you can definitely see this was my biggest week hands down. Uh, we just cleared 50% on the week there, so a massive gain. Uh, total change in the market value was about $3 shy of uh, 14k. So biggest week, uh, easy, you know, super blessed for the opportunities. Uh, huge bull week in the market, honestly. I mean, Biden was talking about the stimulus checks and tech had a rebound. So that was kind of my plan throughout the week. Jumping into the uh, chart itself, Monday actually was at a bit of a loss compared to Friday. Uh, the week before, there was a big sell-off in the tech industry, which I focus heavily in. So there was a bit of bleeding in the account. Uh, Monday, I just cut my losses. I believe I sold plug at about 7% pre-market, and I just went full cash. I, was, I just told myself it's going to be a good week. You know, don't don't worry about your past trades and just kind of focus mentally on this week improving. So uh, Monday was just kind of a recovery stage. I did lock in some trades and swing trades right there, but it was mainly just me getting the foundation down for the week. As you can see from March 8th, we started the week at about, uh, well, I guess, yeah, starting the week at about 27, just shy of 28,000 there. It did drop when you're going to the end of Monday, just starting, you know, starting about Monday night at about 27K. So that was a real starting point for this week of when the uh, big bull rush took off for me. Uh, looking at March 9th there, kicking around there, you know, you're starting balance. This was a huge jump for me. I pulled in about $4,500 uh, there. Uh, a lot of these were just tech trades and there was a big rebound. I will jump into the trades after, just go give you a general idea of how the uh, general week went. So we pulled in about 4.5K on Tuesday there, putting the account balance uh, about 31.5K. Uh, looking at Wednesday was one of the biggest days there, hands down. This was my final GME swing. So I did get, uh, you know, uh, full diamond hands going for a day and a half with a GME. I saw the big bullish run, and that was a huge one for me. I managed to pull over uh, $7,000, 7143 So, you know, huge account gain right there. That's the just fit. That's half the, uh, half the week in one day. So it just goes to show, you know, you time your, you know, uh, time things right. You can make a lot of money. Uh, GME did have a massive sell-off there. I sold it at 345 and about... 10 minutes later after the halt was down to 180, so it was definitely a perfect get in, get out kind of moment, so I was super blessed for that. Uh, jumping into Thursday there, I mean, these were smaller days. I was still kind of, you know, fantasizing about Wednesday and just trying to, I don't know, just trying to mentally uh, mentally prepare, not get too cocky, just, you know, my consistency and my goal is 1% a day. I mean, as you can see, this week blew that out of the water, you know, 100% past, you know, uh, this week totally blew it out of the water, a thousand percent what, you know, my weekly goal is. But as I said, I mean, you know, you got some good weeks, got some bad weeks, but if it averages out, my goal is 1% a day, just compounded. So that was the goal there. I mean, uh, Thursday and Friday are pretty much the same. It was a bunch of small 0.8% trades on average. Uh, maybe one trade that was 2% throughout the day, but mainly just smaller trades like that. Just focusing on little pump and dumps and little pops in the market. Uh, all tech industry and just some pre-market, um, just some pre-market trades, honestly. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can see the chart here. You know, you got this big transition there. Hoping next week's, I mean, I'm hoping next week's similar to this week, but as I said, I shoot for 1% a day or roughly 5% a week. So we will be playing with account balance of about 42K right now. So ideally next week, we'll be shooting for about $420 a day if, it, if I can pull that off. So uh, stay tuned, but let's jump into all my trades. So jumping into those trades there, I'm not going to bore you with every single one of them, a lot of them were just little ones, but I'll jump into some of the uh, ones that stood out. So the biggest one was GME, uh, this is definitely one of those high risk, high reward kind of trades. Uh, there was big momentum in all the chat rooms talking about it. So looking at that bad boy, I actually bought in 50 shares on March 9th at 215.05. So that was literally right at open there, this initial dip. Uh, you can see this big gap up, I believe pre-market hours was trading about 235. So I did see a bit of profit even if I was to sell just in between the pre-market price and the open price. I decided to hold and uh, kind of take the risk overnight, which did pay off big for me. It was uh, it's definitely been one of my best trades in a long time, maybe ever, hands down. But it just came from holding and just kind of uh, taking a chance. I mean, you know, this was holding above the EMA uh, all its trading day, even post-market. So I gave it a chance and I sold actually on the 10th at 345. So I believe right around this window here. 
Uh, I had no idea it was going to sell off the way it did, but I did start to see uh, resistance and volume move. As you can see, as you're getting to the top, you began to see volume sell off and it just be hella overextended. Um, once I got up there, I originally had a sell order for about 354, but seeing how it wasn't breaking through the uh, 350 mark and how that can be a real uh, resistance level for a lot of people, just from a psychological perspective, I just said, you know what, I'll cash my profits. I'm at the ski hill. I might as well enjoy the best. Uh, might as well enjoy the rest of the day, and it really paid off because I mean, otherwise, I would have been down a whole lot of money if I tried to panic sell there. Uh, this was Vivo Power or VVPR. You've heard about it in my last trades. So that's one I like to focus on. Has a lot of volume and actually has a lot of potential to grow, so I'm not as fearful of it crashing kind of thing. It's already down pretty low. It was at highs of about $24 uh, before it started selling off. But uh, Vivo Power was this was a pretty easy buy and sell for me. Uh, on March 11th, which was right around here, uh, I believe it went up, up, up. I spot in at this dip here, dropped down. I bought in uh, 1,840 shares at $9.75. I wrote it up. It was just bouncing up and down. I didn't want to take the risk of holding it the day before. I mean, just looking at it, I would have been in the red in the morning and in the green in the afternoon. Uh, in the end, I could have made some money, but I just wanted to you know, close my trades, didn't know how the next day was going, so I sold at $10, so right around where it was bouncing throughout the day. Uh, super happy with that trade, and you know, doing the math on that, that's uh, both, uh, doing the math on that, that's you know, about 2% kind of thing, so definitely nothing to you know, shake your head at. Super fortunate for that, and just another one of those trades that you can know, get in, get out, and just a comfortable, nice little uh, entry and exit. So the next trade I decided to do was with Roblox. Uh, for those who don't know, it was a brand new IPO, just opened on the 10th. Uh, Roblox is an online Lego third-party game where you can build, create, play with your friends. Uh, I used to play when I was a kid, it is pretty fun, but they recently released an IPO in the stock market. So uh, for those who don't know, when you release an IPO, there's normally a whole lot of volume. It's brand new to the stock market. People don't know where prices are going and it's bouncing up and down the first few days. I use this to my advantage with just volume and uh, volatility and try to jump on board. Uh, as you can see, the first day it shot up, you know, super first thing in the morning. Um, Pre-market prices for the 11th were about at a high of $94 at 8 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. By the time the market opened, it was you know hovering right around uh, 75, 74, uh, all the way down to, I guess, 73. Uh, I missed my buy in slightly here. I did buy in at $74, um, 230 shares there. This was a super fast trade, about eight minutes. So this is one of those kind of ones you can just look at and be like, my day's made, I'm, you know, I'm happy. Uh, bottom first thing at uh, 230 shares at $74. Eight minutes later, I sold those 230 shares at $77. So, you know, you're looking at a uh, $3 per 230 shares, all US. You're looking at a nice little profit there. So that was my first trade of the day. That definitely lined up everything for success. You get one good trade in, kind of mentally you're feeling good. Uh, as long as you don't get cocky and understand that, you know, you can still lose that money if you keep trading. But that was definitely start off the day, and that was, uh, I think, the uh, the big trade of the day. So just looking at my uh, final trade I want to show you guys, it's with NEO. This was actually a day I traded it twice, so I kind of bought, sold, bought, sold. Uh, sometimes when the market's bouncing up and down, it's kind of nice to be able, you know, to get in at a low point, sell at a high point, wait for it to correct itself, and do it all over again. So I kind of capitalized on the wishy-washy market in the morning, just try and play to my favor. So just looking at it, this was all done on the 12th here, so I guess I could just jump back to the one day here. So just zooming in on the chart here, my first buy-in was starting up on this big bullish run. I bought in at 44.50 at 419 shares. Uh, I just kind of wrote it up here. I mean, there was some consolidation, so I kind of got in, got out. Uh, buy-in at $44.50 and sell at $45.20, so right up here. Uh, as you can see, it was consolidating again. Uh, you know, you're kind of just bouncing through. You know, I, I was seeing kind of the volume fade and just a whole lot of, uh, you know, a lot of chance of a downtrend. So I thought I'd sell, lock my profits, all good there. I waited for it to drop and consolidate and decided to buy in again. I waited a bit of time for this, but I decided to buy 429 shares this time at 43.96. So I think right around here, it was kind of making a support for itself. I, you know, I kind of believe the market was going to correct itself. The rest of the stocks were kind of uptrending, so I believe tech would follow. Uh, as a consolidate, I decided to buy in here. The last consolidation started to go up. I should have held for a lot longer. I was worried the market was going to do another one of these, and honestly, I just wanted to lock in my profits for Friday. 
but I did buy that at forty three ninety six, and I managed to sell at forty four thirty. So nothing too crazy there. I mean, I sold probably right around this bump here. It wasn't long hold, just happy to get in and out, and very fortunate for the opportunity to make that kind of money in you know such a short amount of time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys learned something new and got a better idea of uh, how my mind works when it comes to investing. As always, if you're new to the channel and wanna you know check out some more stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I am gonna start trying to post a little bit more regularly. And as always, let's stay safe and stay sendy. I'll uh, see you guys in the next edit.